This is Frankie Abrazino with the Scoop News. This is down in Venice regarding the police station. And this is something it just drives me crazy. They put out the bid, uh, the bond for $16 million, but they don't have any idea where they're going to move the place to. I thought they had land designated, um, which they actually they did indicate in the referendum or the bond referendum that they had a plot that they were looking at. But now they're saying, well, let's not look at that plot. Let's try to save $2 million, which I get. You want to be good stewards with the Venice um, resident money, but sometimes it doesn't make sense. And so they staff at City came up and said, let's look at this one area over in the Pinebrook Park area. And this is, I think, where they wanted to move Challenger. And there was a bunch of griping from the friends of Pinebrook Park. And yesterday I was watching the City Council meeting and they were there in full force saying, nope, we're not going to buy into this, basically. And I even said this in my last report when I heard about it, that they're a very vocal, political, politically strong group, and um, I can't see it taking place. And it looks like I was right. And they're backing away from that concept because of the opposition to it is so strong. So now they said, and instead, let's look at this. Taking and stringing together two, um, 10 acres of land over by the southern side of Wellfield Park, where the police station is and the fire um, training facilities. Um, basically, to do it there, though, they have to take away two baseball fields. They're saying two, maybe more. Who knows? And their concern is that uh, that it's going to face some protests and oppositions, as McKeon said. And the friends of, of obviously the friends of Pinebrook Park are fine with that. And the only thing I'm concerned about is for the average person out there that's not a city of Venice resident that uses those fields. Um, I could tell you that in the past there's been a lot of griping by. The city council, the same members, because they've all been there for so long, um, like Bob Daniels, he's one of the leading architects out there that say, hey, we're 68 years old, basically our demographic line, and we don't have a lot of kids here. So why are we as a city paying for these fields for all these kids that really are not Venice residents? And I, I know that's been a gripe for a long time. If you ever watch the city council meetings, you, you'll know that. Um, going back years. So I think it's something that's got a lot of steam behind it. A, it'll save $101.5 to $2 million. And B, um, it'll take off that expense of two fields away from the city that they don't want. Also in this thing, somebody threw up the idea of having a firing range wanting that there. And uh, I think it was Hawk that came in and said, look, why are we putting that up when we got Knight's Trail from the county just five min minutes away? Um, they also wanted uh, something to do with fire training, but they said we got something down towards Inglewood. Um, so those went to the side, took us to, uh, to the side table. But um, so anyone that's out there with uh, kids that play out at those fields or really appreciate those fields, I I would be worried because I think this uh, this uh, has some strong strong. Uh, uh, what do you want to say? I think it's going to be something that they pay a lot of attention to and act upon. Um, this has been Frankie Abrazino with The Scoop News.